All right, so the night before I go fishing, I set up. I always have my battery on the battery tender, uh, just charging away, letting it, uh, you know, get the full power because I'll be trolling all day tomorrow. While that thing does this, I'll probably end it all night. I'll show you my four rods here. I got three of the ones I've had, and I just bought a new one, so we'll, we'll talk about that soon. All right, here we go. This is the first one. This is a very light, very light trout. Uh, rod and reel combo. This is usually the one that I use for uh, river fishing, but it works really good for trolling. I put these little shiners on there. These things are just magic. And then with the swivel, on the snap swivel, I add about a two liter line connected to my um, power bait. And this thing works amazing. And then right here, I have my little... Uh, it's a swivel that goes up and down, I guess. I don't know what they call it, with a bead. And that's where the weight goes. So this is setup number one. This always works. I mean, there's there hasn't been a time that this hasn't worked. So this is combo number one. I'll put it on this the garage door. Combo number two, my oldest rod, my first rod I ever bought. What a new reel, the rod itself is old school. Slingshot, $9 Walmart rod. But the reel is badass and it works really good. Connected to a bullet weight, about a two foot long leader, connected to a beautiful eagle claw. This one has caught me many, 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 many a fish. Number three, this is the same one as the first setup. Snap swivel. Shiners, weight, and all that. But I hate bait casters. I can't cast them. I've always tried, and I'm not good at it. I will never do it again. So what I do with these, I open this up and let it just go, and I troll with it. And this becomes my trolling rod. Works really, really good. Goes really, really far. You can see all the line that's on there. Badass. Catch a lot of fish. Now the grand finale. If anyone can see how long this thing is, it's a very long rod. All right, so, snap swivel, connected to a bead, connected to another swivel, goes down to about seven foot. It's called the Okuma Kokani, badass rod. But the reel itself is even more badass. Here it is, in all its glory. It's a Cabela's. I'm a left-handed, so I couldn't find anything better, so this is the best I can do. A left-handed with a depth counter, amazing bait cast. All right, so I'm out here in McSwain. Um, on this rod right here, I have a power bait with a couple of small uh, weight on it. And on this one, I got lead cord line. Lead cord line on this one. Uh, about two colors on this one, because that's all the bits on there, with a spoon at the end of it. And I got about a one and a half colors out. So each color is about five feet deep. So I'm about seven to ten feet deep. So this one is about I don't know, 100 yards behind the boat. Because at the top at the top of the lead core, I have just regular um, six pound test, which I'll show that setup later. And then on uh, this one, I only have that's probably another 100 100 yards behind the boat as well. And that one's just like a regular six pound test. So we'll see which one does as good today, and we'll go from there. Alright, so we're getting a bite right here. There we go. Nice fish. Nice looking fish. Feels good. We'll see. We'll see if we can get this bad boy on the boat. running towards a boat. Wow, that's insane. First time I've had the fish do that. <laughs> oh, it's a nice, nice size trout.
barely hooked too, so we're gonna get this bad boy on the boat real quick. Come on, come on. Fish on. Wow, what a size of fish. Wow. Look at his beauty. Look how big this thing is. You have to get this rod. Ooh. Power bait. All right, so this rod right here is getting a nice little bite on it. Let's see if it will um, hook itself. I'm not trolling. I'm just literally pulled up here. Waiting to see if I'll be able to get a fish without trolling at all. Give it a little nudge here. Come back for it. So this is the first time I caught a trout in fresh water with eggs in it. So that's pretty cool. All right, so while out fishing today, I found this gem underwater. My uh, my lure <laughs> pulled this thing in. Only caught one fish, but got a brand new fishing rod. Well, just a rod. The real I think might be might be time to throw away because all rusted right here. But the rod itself isn't bad. It's one of these cheap ones. It's, it's a slingshot. The I know Walmart sells these for like twenty bucks or so. But you know, you never know if you need one for small bluegill or anything like that. Even trout. Just didn't catch trout. So this is I'm gonna refurbish it and see how good it looks. All right, we got cleaned up. This thing went. It's lost a little bit of color, but overall, super super cleaned up. I don't know what I'll use it for. I'll just hold on to it if I need it. But pretty cool find. All right, well, this thing is messed up. It won't turn. Something's going on with it, but probably something's stuck in here. So, I'm just going to toss it. I'll give it to my grandpa. Maybe he can fix it. But here's a trout I caught today. Really nice trout. Mm, really nice colors on it. Well, it's a good day. Not a bad, not a bad day at all. So, here's the uh, reel we found. I got it opened up and it is a mess. So we're gonna grease all this, grease this, and grease this. And hopefully it will work. But overall, it seems cleaned up. There's only one area of rust, which is right here. Which we'll have to grind out. All right, here's that um, fishing reel. And got it to work again. Look at that. Man, this thing was a mess. Full of clay. Just looked like it was rusted, but it'll it wasn't really rust, it was just clay. And there's a rod for it, so I'm gonna set it up. It'll be cool. Probably give it some of my friends. I don't know, I have too many rods, so I'll get rid of this one. <laughs> 